Okay, so we're gonna test the computer. Test this computer. I I received this uh, the other day. So it is Sunday now. I received this Saturday. The actually tracking was saying it wasn't gonna be received till Monday with another computer that I have coming, right? So I received this early. So that's really nice. Always good to get something early. So this is a Dell. Let's see. So we'll start out with my normal kind of thing. This is a this is a Dell XPS 8300. So uh, my winning. So th this wasn't even a bid item. I just bought this. I had one of these in a long time. At least I don't think I ever had one in white. Maybe I did, but I don't think I did. So I gave twenty dollars and ninety nine cents for this system. Tax was four dollar four dollars one dollar and seventy four. Uh, I'll repeat this. Uh, tax was a dollar forty seven cents. Shipping was thirty dollars and fifteen cents. So I. Again, another one of these computers where I pay more for shipping than the computer itself. And then handling was $2.50. So I paid shipping and handling of $32.15. So my grand total on this computer is $55.11. Yeah, I have a lot. I, I, I get a lot of people like, oh, I seen the video and you mentioned you only paid. You know, like they'll say, you only paid $55 for this. But... I, I can see already this computer is going to need a lot of work. So, so you know, me pricing it at, at like 80 or 90 or $100, something like that. It's because I go through this computer is going to be, you know, there's no standard for refurbished, but this computer, I'd say it's going to be refurbished once I'm done with it. You know, because you can, you know, in through the porch, you can see there's a lot of dust in here. You know, this. You know, we'll, we'll check that out right as we are here now. So we'll we'll see. So we, Dell puts these standard up here. So you got the card reader. You can see it's full of dust. I'll have to remove all that. Um, down at the bottom, you got an air vent. It says an i7, uh, core i7. And then, you know, this doesn't open. This, this kind of lifts outward and down. Normally, you know, they make several different ones of this. Sometimes I have a card reader in here, but this has got an add-in card. So it gets the USB 3 to this little block to the front. And then you got two USB 2s here. And then because on this, the audio is up here. So you got the microphone and your headphone jack here. And two more USB ports here. Okay, so... Uh, and this has an i7-2600, says it's running at 3.4 gigahertz, a 500 gig hard drive, yeah, it says hard drive, okay, uh, it's a DDR3 system, 8, 8 gigs of RAM, then it says it has an NVIDIA GeForce GT530, and they say they put Linux on it, but hopefully this system's been upgraded to Windows 10. Due to you know, like I don't know, I still haven't looked. Maybe that, maybe there's some magical workaround to still get it upgraded, upgraded to Windows 10. So then you see in the back here we have a power supply. You know we have the ports here blocked. This is a DVI, I'm assuming, and then VGA. It does seem to be bent right here. Getting the whole thing in the camera. So it seems to be bent right here somehow. I don't know how that happened, but. You know, got USB ports here, an eSATA, more USB ports, Ethernet, and audio. Then the 530 has a DVI, HDMI, and VGA. And then we got another one of these, like a card here, that has USB 3 on it. Let's flip this to the side. It does have a screw holding the side panel on. So we'll take that out. Now, now all these is same thing like what you see is what I'm seeing for the first time oh wait oh, 
Well, that was a little bit tight, right? Okay. So it is pretty dirty, like I said. You know, this, this whole thing's going to be fully taken apart and cleaned. zoom in which I already know I'm gonna forget to zoom back out so uh, got a good amount of dust in here what is this it's original Dell power supply what is it 460 watt power supply I do see we have uh, two six pin connectors coming out of it so we have a 460 watt power supply See, one thing I don't like, since it said it had 8 gigs of RAM in it, we have 4 sticks of RAM in here. So that means it's 2, 4, 6, 8. This is all the, all the, all the sl dim slots are taken. So to, to upgrade memory in this, I'd have to take memory out. I was hoping it had like 2, two 4 gig sticks in it. Or 1 8 gig stick. Uh, and here is our, you know, GT530. I don't know, maybe it's a 1 gig card, Two, yeah it's probably just a 1 gig card and then there's a Spanish card. Do have a wi do have Wi-Fi built, you know not built onto the board but a slot for the Wi-Fi chip right there and it does have that. It's like a, it's what you find in a laptop. Uh, 24, or 8 pins hooked in or 24 pins hooked in. Our hard drives here, DVD-ROM here, everything seems to be hooked up. Uh, I don't see any bad capacitors in it. Everything seems to be okay. So, see if this actually boots. They said it had Linux on it. So, just uh, plug this in. I do have the monitor set to VGA. I'm going to VGA to DVI. I'm going to plug it into DVI. Uh, plug in the power core. There's no, no switch for the power supply. So, we'll plug that in. And get a keyboard and mouse hooked in. Okay, we get an indicator on the board for a little LED. There's no sensors on the case for the tell if the thing's open or not. So we should be good to go. Okay, we're getting fan spin and all that. And like I said, I will forget to zoom out. But I kind of caught it this time. Hopefully I get better at that. We just did get the logo. It's got Linux on it, so I don't know why they would say, oh, all the, the drive was wiped and operating system was reinstalled, because it's not reinstalled. This is a a totally different version of a operating system, Linux. So you just try, try this in here and see what, what goes on, you know? I think this is home. I think it's Windows 10 Home that I installed on this, so we'll be able to tell, you know, if Windows 10 was actually activated on here, so we're all good here. And just hit the power button. I don't know, it might be UEFI. The system might not be UEFI, so it might not even boot to this drive. Yeah, here we go, got to boot. My blue screen, though, if it's not you know configure it right in the BIOS to boot for this drive but just check that out let's, let's cut this light off okay so you can see here there's no you know like the, the screens off because there's no drivers for it well, well no drivers for uh, for the video okay so we do have the i5 uh, that looks way better than it's done in the past I, I guess kind of slide this forward so I don't have to zoom so much and then just kind of move this up Another room. Okay. yeah it's a little better it's not perfect but we do have a nice 
we do have the i7 2600 four cores eight threads and then you know eight gigs of ram running at 1333 here here is that obviously my ssd so it's a samsung ssd 840 this is 120 gig so now you know you know if you watch the the computer that was in the red case that's what that ssd is and i i did get the other drive to work it works perfectly fine i actually have windows uh, Windows 10 Home installed on that drive too and that's going with that i5 system but I got a new case for that and that's going to be an upcoming video of me putting that system together in its new case uh, and I, th these are these are all the from the from the card reader that's what all this is here and the, there's no way that the like if we're going to be missing drivers in here because I, you know, the drive is a, a fresh drive and was in a different computer. So yeah, we're just going to say Windows Basic drivers. But you can see here everything, everything seems to be functioning. It's running off the SSD. Windows is actually going to say that they're not. It's not activated because it's not connected to the internet. Or will it say it's activated? Uh, can't reach this. So yes, uh, let's connect to that. All right? Let's try to connect to that. connected we'll do uh, usually it helps to do a restart to see if that's gonna show up or not as you can see there actually is no updates on it either so I do a restart really quick so you can see it restarting yeah with drivers on it the system will restart and boot up faster once Windows has a proper drivers on it, but this drive isn't staying with this system. It well, it might, it might. I, I say that. No, no, no. Yeah. It, at the least, I'll put this drive with the other Dell I have. I have another Dell XPS. It looks a similar. It looks similar to this, but it's a it's a black model. It's black and not white, and it's actually uh, an i7 47. 70k I think or it might be a 4790k I might put this drive with that system pull that one terabyte drive out of that system and put it in here and then add this 500 gig to the other Dell so you have so that system will have a 120 gig SSD and a 500 gig hard drive and this system will have a one terabyte hard drive let's go into settings again and see what Windows says if it says it's activated or not yes see that's nice that's what I want to see you can see here too Windows is activated with the digital license key so I'm gonna reinstall Windows I'm gonna uh, install Windows 10 home on this system I'll probably dual boot like I said I'll probably keep the Linux on here and then uh, dual boot this drive so it have Windows 10 and Linux Mint on it. Then I'll clone. You know, if I do swap out that's the one terabyte drive for this 500, so the system will have one terabyte. I'll just clone the drive over and then install it. Let them know, hey, it has Linux Mint or Windows 10. You can boot into either one of them. This way, they they have a choice since it's already on it. Why not leave it on there, right? And I have the free option to do that no matter what so I'll leave that you know I'll do I have this system dual boot to Windows 10 home and Linux Mint uh, I do more cam more testing off camera to check this video card out 
you know I'll do a short update video of it once I get it all cleaned up like all these little all these little scratches and like I'll zoom back out it's zooming back in and said out so all these little stuff here these little scuffs I'll try to take off and then like the back piece let's move this way over here and then the back piece I'll go ahead and I have to remove the card to get that to push back in because if I push it in now it just hits the card so then it flexes back but we'll but I'll do all that and then you'll see an update video of it probably be like a five minute video or whatever so I'll show it all cleaned up and then rebooting in the Windows 10 home because that's what's going to be in it right now if I do the update before I get the other computer obviously it still has a 500 gig hard drive in it but you know leave your comments below if you made it all the way to the end of the video was the system worth me buying and I bought it you know I'm assuming no matter what you know I, I break even on it someone gets a good computer I make twenty dollars off it or whatever you know like there's a big dust bunny down here like, like, huge look at that guy right there but yeah if I make twenty dollars off of them that's perfectly happy with that you know if I break even I'm fine if I can't break even then I pay too much for it but you know at the least I'll break even on this system uh, okay I'm gonna call it the end of this video thank you for watching